Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight into that 2v8 video that we had the other day, talking about the rapier, and obviously the musket involved with that video. We saw a 2v8 with me and Alf, my buddy. We've been playing for a couple years now, obviously, at different, you know, MMOs, you know, went into the New World Alpha, went as well as the New World Closed Beta. So now, looking at the rapier and musket, there's a lot to really take in. So if we hit K, we go to our weapon mastery. The first thing we're going to realize is I have a 14 mastery on rapier and then musket I have a 12 mastery so we won't be able to actually have all unlocked right now however there's many reasons as to why uh, we are leveling these two specifically so there is so much mobility involved with rapier and musket the first thing we're going to jump into before jumping into some tips and tricks about this build is the rapier build specifically going in the grace column so with grace you can see there is you know, a decent amount of abilities that you can actually select through. Uh, the biggest thing to select is evade first off. So evade giving you performing a small, reliable sidestep in your current movement direction that cancels any current activity and provides momentarily invulnerability. So obviously being able to, you know, dodge abilities very, very easily and dodge attacks as well. Uh, we want breathe in gain 20 stamina immediately on use. We want Allegro, gain 20% movement speed for three seconds on use. We want, Edig I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce this one, to be honest with you guys, Edigayo, I'm not sure. But we have Evading Forward, gains 15% increased damage on your next light attack. Definitely a big deal, obviously giving you more damage. And then we have Crescendo as well. So individual successful light attacks reduce the cooldown of this ability by 30% each. So every time you attack, obviously reducing that cooldown and being able to basically spam your Q as much as possible. In my case being Q uh, Evade. We also have Flesh as the next one. Flesh is one of those doing a very, very big majority of your movement as well. So leave the ground lunging forward for 10 meters in a stabbing motion piercing through enemies dealing 145% damage. So we've seen this with Quick Lunge killing with this ability reduces its cooldown by 80%. We also see backside and we see, um, you know, interruption on there and available. We are actually not going to be utilizing any of those three quite yet as I am level 14 out of 20 and I would rather have some of these passives that we're going to talk about. But before we get on those passives, I want to talk about Riposte. Obviously a big, big deal involved with, you know, being able to actually 2v8 is that Riposte uh, entering really, you know, entering into that defensive stance for one second. If struck during this ability, counter the attacker, stunning them briefly for 1.5 seconds. You are briefly invulnerable upon a successful riposte. So this is a big deal, and you can actually see insult to injury. So if the riposte is triggered successfully, all your attacks become in uninterruptible for three seconds. A big deal right there, obviously, giving you a great opportunity to strike back. And then you have the priority, so reduce the cooldown of other rapier abilities by 20% when landing a riposte stun. We also have lasting consequence. Increase the stun from riposte to two seconds. These are very, very, very important. So then we jump into some of the passives that we would like to take. There are a very, very big amount of options to really jump into here. So let's take a quick look at our first ones that we have selected. We have deal 10% more damage when your stamina is below 40%. If you guys haven't realized, using your abilities, using a non-stop attacks is going to keep your stamina very, very low. So this is definitely a great one to take. There's a lot of great options though. We also see swiftness is what I have right now. This I do change around. Swiftness right now plus 3% haste for 4 seconds on any hit. Gan obviously stack up to 5 times as well. So you can actually gain a lot of movement speed there. Um, a great way to stay on top of your enemies while they're trying to run or uh, you know take advantage of your quickness altogether. We also have red curtains as a possibility. So critical strikes reduce all cooldowns by 5% you do get a lot of critical strikes with rapier we've talked about you know getting backs you know getting behind the attacker and hitting them in the back obviously creating critical strikes this reduces cooldowns by five percent very 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 solid passive to take as well we also see perfectionist so deal 10 percent more damage when your health is full i don't love this one for pvp you're not usually going to be at full health so i usually skip out on that we also have three or plus three stamina on any hit. I do like this one a little bit. Um, using this one is sometimes, um, you know, a great option as well. Flesh is one of those that, like I talked about, I don't have any on currently. Having all three of these is definitely a great option uh, when you do have this maxed out to level 20. Um, it allows you to have more really kind of movement with it. So killing with this ability reduces its cooldown by 80%. So let's say you kill a rabbit or something mid-fight. Um, it will let you in the open world getting, uh, you know, getting around a lot easier. We also have backside. So after performing the flesh, your next critical strike attack will have its damage increased by 15%, and it lasts for 5 seconds. We also have 
the interruption. So pressing light attack anytime during flesh will stop and perform a static continuation attack dealing 115% damage. So that's definitely a great option during uh, you know this grace category. We do have some good ones over on blood as well if you want to take some of these passes. So you can reduce all cooldowns by 1% on any hit. Very, very solid. Deal 5% more on... Uh, well, this one's actually for rapier bleed, so we're not going to take pay attention to that one. But it's actually in, uh, I guess, in guard is the other one that's very, very solid. So deal 10% more damage when your target has greater than 50% health, giving you a great option to, uh, you know, continue with these bonuses of dealing more damage. So a lot of options out there. These specifically, I've talked about all of the solid ones to take. I don't like blood side near as much as I like the grace side. Grace gives you the opportunity to outplay and, uh, you know, 2v8 like you guys saw in uh, you know the previous video. I'll actually play that video here at the end of this one as well. If you guys want to stay tuned and watch that 2VA take place that me and Alf took advantage of. We also go back now to our uh, Rapier. So Rapier is, an, or not Rapier, sorry. We go to our Musket now. Uh, musket, we have level 12 right now. So we currently are using a couple different things. During that video, I actually had different things selected. I had a little bit lower of a mastery. So now I just changed things up recently. The biggest thing to note is is the Powder Burn. Powder Burn is amazing. It's an amazing ability. It does a huge amount of damage uh, and damage over time. So definitely select Backdraft as well. 12% additional damage while target is on fire. So if you continue to attack them while they're on fire, you'll continue to do a lot of damage. You also have Chronic uh, trauma. So if powder burn is a headshot, extend burn duration to 13 seconds. So make sure to hit that headshot when getting those powder burns going. We also see critical reload here. So landing three headshots with five sec within, sorry, five seconds of each other grants instant reload. Very, very good. If you are able to hit your shots, gives you a chance to really do insane damage. One of the biggest passives to take in the musket category is going to be tactical reload. So dodging reloads the musket. So every six seconds, you're able to take advantage of this just by dodging with the musket to get that uh, free shot opportunity out. We also see stopping power as one of the opportunities to use. Um, this is something I didn't have in the video specifically. The biggest thing I had in the video was the powder burn that I took advantage of. Everything else I didn't actually have. So stopping power, a very, very big one to take advantage of because it really does stop them very, very heavily. So the stamina regeneration speed by 10% for 8 seconds. And then also you have targets hit with stopping power are slowed by 10% for 8 seconds, giving you guys more time to really uh, you know, move around them so quickly as they are so slow, obviously giving you opportunity to continue to shoot at them with the musket. Uh, I, right now I do have a trap. I do like the idea of having a trap in case they are chasing you and you are able to lay that trap down and uh, take advantage of it against you know seven or eight players. Taking one out of the fight is definitely going to help you. So those are just my thoughts on the rapier musket right now now where I'm currently at. Uh, we'll continue to update this as I get closer to, you know, max level and get to those 20 out of 20s. Uh, but, you know, it's just a great build uh, altogether. And one more thing I'm going to show you guys before we get into the actual fight. So with the rapier and musket. This actually works alongside every weapon, but the rapier and musket is very, very important. Um, so when you're dodge rolling, if I dodge roll twice, you see that I'm at zero stamina. I can't dodge roll anymore, right? But if I dodge roll Q then dodge roll, dodge roll. That's three dodge rolls in a row, right? So we are able to get a third dodge roll with using our Q because of this ability here. So if we jump in, we can see evade, giving you that 20 extra stamina immediately on use. A very, very big part of why you can't catch up to rapier and musketeer uh, players is because of this, or really just rapiers in general. We also want to look into so much movement involved with this build. So the one thing I was going to show you is kind of animation canceling. We figured this out actually uh, earlier in this game, and you know I want to talk about it now to my viewers. Um, as we are getting started and farther into New World, we are going to see a lot more people use, using and utilizing this. So what you'll see here is um, animation canceling. So if I do a roll right now, uh, I went backwards. It's going to be a little awkward to see that one. So we'll go forward. If I do a roll, okay, that was kind of glitchy actually on the screen. So let me do another roll for you. Uh, if we do a roll here, it kind of stops me at the end, right? Very, very slow. Uh, if we do a roll and then animation cancel, we can just switch weapons and keep running. So it's a very, very fast way to continue running away from people or toward people. If we just do a normal roll, 
you're going to get that stop. You're going to get that slow. So it's important to do all of this when you are running or running away or running toward or whatever you're doing. So here you can see the whole combo really of the rapier and how fast you can actually move here. So we do that, we do that, we do that, we do that, we swap, and then we obviously, um, we will be on the rapier at that point. I'm not sure why I had the musket out, but then you will swap and obviously do your dash as well. So I did kind of fail for you guys there, but you guys understand the concept. I want to get you guys as quickly as possible into that, uh, you know, 2v8 video for those of you who actually missed it. Um, and thank you guys for the awesome support on the last video. Talking about the rapier and musket is definitely one of my favorite things to do, as it is one of my favorite, uh, you know, current setup in New World. I'm definitely playing around with it during this closed beta and enjoying myself quite uh, quite a bit. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's jump into that video and I'll see you guys. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel for more tips and guides on New World. So thanks again. I mean, I'm hitting them. It's just, it, it doesn't matter because there's 15 Too much I can block with them. Too much I can block. <sighs> it's just simple. Just use me as cover. I can't shoot right now. There's not. I mean, I could shoot regular bolts. Just Can I hide for a second? Bolts oh. don't do much. Just kind of right. I have a bleed in a second. Let me get this bleed up. There, there's actually too many again. To be there's honest, there's only four. I feel like we've done this before. I got a bleed on him. If you want to try him. I got another hit. He's one shot. The thirteen. He's gonna die probably. I got him. Okay, can you finish him? Yep. I'm going for this I guy. I got a bleed on another one. Keep going for him. That guy's dead. I got to I got to I can't fight. You got to kite. Oh, you're going to die, dude. You're not kiting. I don't have a heal. Okay, I'm coming in for this guy right here. Backing off, backing off. I gotta get a potion I got a going. Headshot here. on okay. him. Headshot bleed. On who? On who? Bad guy. Sega? Yep. Can you get him? Yep. I'm one I'm HP. Healing. I'm one HP and I don't have a pot. I have a stun in a second. You don't have a pot at all? I, I do, I do. I have to get one up. One second, I gotta He's run. He's coming it. for you. He's coming for you. I got a big pot now. I used it. Uh, Alright, oh yeah, I got a pot. We can kite for a second? Who am I hitting? I'm trying. I don't know anyone. I mean, I'm just getting. I got one. Whoever right hit. Now. Yeah, farm, farm, farm. I got a big stun on him. Get him. I got him. I'm healing. I got a. I got a pot. I don't have a pot. The guy in the back. I hit Saga. Uh, we're not gonna be able see to see this kid there. in the front. This I'm. I'm one, HP, I'm one HP. I'm one HP. I'm one HP. All right. Let's use rocks. I got a pot. I got a pot. Coming back. Who are we going for? I'm Anyone. coming. Anyone? Duelus. Can you get the fucking this insomnia kid? Right here. Damn it, I missed. Oh, what the? Insomnia weak. Dude, there's so many. Get this 13. 13. I, got, I hit somebody. I think he's weak. I don't know which one. Oh, it's the bad guy. You're doing it. Clockwork. Oh! <laughs> I got a three-way counter there. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm helping, I'm helping you. Oh, shit! He's one shot! <laughs> nice! Oh my God, I'm finishing him. We're 2v5. We're 2v6. Like we're 2v8, dude! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, I got him. They're so mad. I'm going for Saga. Anything on him? Nice. He's done. Heal, heal, heal! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 